Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing some Disney resorts with you, kind of showing you around so you can see all of the fun decorations. I don't know if this is gonna be a Vlogmas video, but if it is, happy Vlogmas day, whatever. I don't know just yet, but I wanted to do a fun themed video and I'm not doing anything that crazy today, so I thought I would just visit some of the resorts. So let's go. So I just got to the Grand Floridian. I just want to show you guys this really cool car. Okay, so it's really quiet in here. But I just want to show you the inside of the Grand Floridian. It's so freaking pretty. I'm gonna move along now before people start staring. Look at that. We have all the Christmas decorations up. I hope like all the resorts have Christmas stuff up because it's always like so gorgeous in all of the resorts and stuff. But it's super quiet in here. Okay, so I thought they would have had like more Christmas decorations, but here's a nice display of Christmas tree. <laughs> they have a little wreath here. I don't know if that's always here. That might be always here. But I don't know. They have the Christmas carols going and pretty much like the garland and the tree. That's mostly everything I've seen so far. I'm gonna go upstairs and check it out. So this is what the new inside of the bar looks like. They've redone the whole thing and it looks so good. Okay, I'm definitely gonna come here probably tomorrow because this looks so cool oh my gosh all right just what i had to show you that i know that's not christmas thing but it's a brand new place and it looks so good wow and to go along with the big tree there are two little trees on the second floor that look like so okay so now we are on our way to our next resort i don't know which one it's going to be we're going to see what other decorations they have. I thought they had some sort of gingerbread house thing in the Grand Floridian, but I think I might be maybe mixing that up with something. I, I don't know, but they have their tree up and then they have the garland and stuff. So it does look really pretty. There's a little clip of Magic Kingdom. Next up we are, oh hey, there's Monorail Bay. Next we're going to the Contemporary. Oh, yeah. The Contemporary, sorry if you couldn't hear me. It's kind of loud in here. We are at the Contemporary Resort. This is one of the decorations they have here. Coming over here, we have some trees. I haven't been to this resort quite a while, so and I'm just gonna kind of explore with you. We are right near Chef Mickey's and these other restaurants, and look at these desserts. These look so good. Oh, the gingerbread. You guys know I'm a big fan of gingerbread. Also, they have some baskets here. We have some more decor here, the more wall sticker things. Let's go inside and see what merchandise they have. Plenty of little baskets, little toys. These are cute. We have some pins. I wonder if, oh, they're little candies. Fun. Some plates here, candles. I know a lot of you guys love watching my Disney stuff, so that's why I thought it would be Nice to show you some of the merchandise they have here at the Contemporary. They probably have all this stuff everywhere. Oh, they even have a little mask. Look how fun. That's cool. Oh man, those leggings. You really wanted to go all out. <laughs> we have some pens here. Some little dish rags. Oh my goodness, I could see my mom in this. Oh, I could see Sherry wear this. How many of you guys think that? I could see her totally wear that. I, that's what, actually what caught my eye in, in the window. So, ooh, look at these trees. Gotta love the trees. Look how pretty those are. You can never go wrong with a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie though. Those are really good if you've never had one. We also got the holiday adult Crocs over here. Very fun. Ooh, more light up things. If Wendy was coming down for the holidays, I'm sure she and Sherry would get some of those. We got a new little holiday Mickey hat. That's very cute. I like how simple it is. A little wreath. My aunt could probably make that. Got a little stocking over here. Kind of mint and green. I don't know. I'm not feeling that. Look at how cute these are. Aww. Naughty list. That's hilarious. But that's definitely something that I would want. Also, we have the candy cane ears. Those are cute. And we have some slippers. I had some slippers like that in the past, but they didn't end up really working out. 
Again, more masks and this cute little backpack. I'm sure this is like selling like on the resale market for like quite a bit because a lot of Loungefly apparently is like reselling at a really high price. So that's interesting. Spirit jerseys. You can never go wrong with spirit jersey. I don't know, I like just having one. <laughs> I don't know where else I would like wear it. And it's not like it's always Christmas time. So I don't know, I just don't think I would get that. But they are cute, like I like the green one. This one's probably my favorite out of the two of them. Okay, so we have the new 2020 tote. They normally always bring one of these out during the holidays. But this one's actually kind of cute. Like, I don't know, I, I'm kind of feeling that. We have some baby clothes over here. Oh my goodness, the onesie. How fun. Like, look at the whole pajama collection. There's like no one around me, so I'm happy that I can actually like talk to you and not feel all weird. But this is so cute. Is it like warm and fuzzy on the inside? Kinda. Oh, it is really soft on the inside. That's so cute. Definitely something fun to dress up like with the family and stuff. Oh, and there's a the little kids one. Ooh, this one's softer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely a good family photo, Christmas photo. So, the parents and the kids, that's so cute. Oh man, Valerie never watched my videos, but I think she would want this. It's a gingerbread ball cap. Oh my gosh, look at the little hat. <gasps> Forky and candy cane version. Okay, that's my actual reaction here, so. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna have to take a picture and show my parents because they're gonna like kind of go crazy. And then there's Groot. I'm not really a big fan of like Guardians of the Galaxy, so sorry. Forky takes the win on that one. Definitely cannot forget the dogs in the family, so they have their own little section as well. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this is. Then, oh, we have a nice, ooh, fuzzy robe. Oh, it's not that fuzzy though on the arms. This is the white and gold section, apparently. Look how cute this is. Oh, maybe this is my favorite spirit jersey. It's so, oh, it's kind of soft. So this is what the contemporary check-in desk, front desk looks like. And then they just have this fun little tree here. I think they have a couple of these trees in the lobby. Like there's one over there. There's this really cool wreath, so I'll show you guys. Those look really yummy. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, here's a little gingerbread house. I was looking for the other one, and um, my friend did let me know that there is, there was a gingerbread house, but they're not, they didn't do it this year at the Grand Floridian. So I guess these are the fun treats that we get to appreciate here at the Contemporary. Here's the cool wreath I kind of noticed in the side of my eye. There's tons of different um, like garland pieces that all match. So there's another wreath over here, and then there's like a little something up there. Here is their Christmas tree. It looks kind of small just because of my lens, but it's pretty big. This is what their tree looks like. They have a couple of them. Minimalistic, but festive. And then they have this uh, big wreath here. That looks really nice. Okay, so this is a Disney's Yacht and Beach Club. Thank goodness there's this mat because I was gonna say boardwalk, but I just automatically saw these trees. But look. At this resort look at their tree it's so pretty oh my gosh look how gorgeous and this resort smells the best to me if i had to oh my gosh and they have their garland up too look at how pretty this is I'm sorry if you get dizzy but this is just so pretty we have a nice little touch of a wreath there have little detailings on the window, like the wreaths. It's another wreath up there. Got a nice little tree in a case here for their little store. I'm not too familiar with this resort just because I don't, I haven't stayed here in a really, really long time. Yeah, I'm still kind of exploring myself, like I've said like a million times, but there's some fun wreaths they have out here. I guess I'm gonna go outside. I think we that's like the main lobby and stuff. Okay, after all of this time, I did not know that the Yacht and Beach Club had a tennis court. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's saying the tennis court is a head, but it's literally right there. Weird, okay. Well, I think I'm in the guest area, so I'm just gonna turn around. Yeah, but this has been a fun little experience adventuring around the resort. The boardwalk resort's like right next to it, so I think I'm gonna head there, but I think I'm gonna also go on the boardwalk 
you'll see what I mean when I show you guys. Good thing you don't need like a room key to get in. Some hotels have that and I'm not staying here. So it's always so awkward, especially too, because when it's so quiet and like you're the only one talking and you're not even talking to somebody, you just talk, just talk to a camera. It makes me a little nervous sometimes. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about when I was uh, talking about Yacht and Beach Club, we're walking on the boardwalk to get to boardwalk, the hotel. So all of this stuff is kind of like interconnected and this is the boardwalk. Well, I mean, we're still on Yacht and Beach Club, but you know what I mean. Over across the water is the boardwalk. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so here's a better visual. This is the Yacht and Beach Club. That right over there, that red building is the boardwalk hotel. Okay, so I have a quick story time about this water slide. So a long time ago, my friend had like a three day birthday party trip to Yacht and Beach. Probably the last time I stayed here. I don't remember staying here anytime sooner. Ooh, a bar, that looks nice. We rode that slide so many times. Then my friend got like burns on her feet because the cement was so hot and they like blistered up and she had to like ask for band-aids. I don't know, every time I see this slide, like I always think of that weekend. That was an interesting birthday party, but it was like fun, but also very memorable just because of that whole experience. But we spent a lot of time at like the pool and everything like that. I know this is not Christmas related, but I thought I would just throw it in there because just thought that would add good content and this lighting is terrible because it's like get, becoming darker. And anyway, I hope you can hear me all right. I think you can. I'm gonna make my way over across the water now. Okay, so the next resort we're gonna head to is going to be Disney's Yacht and Beach Club and that's the one that we're gonna finish off with just because I'm gonna meet my parents at Disney Springs again. I don't know, I guess they wanna do some walking around. Maybe we'll eat something. I don't really know the plan. I'm gonna do the boardwalk and then we're just gonna finish off there. I really wanted to hit Disney's Wilderness Lodge but I just didn't really have time. They must be renovating the ESPN Sports Bar, changing it or something. Now this is sad. Ample Hills used to be here. It was a fun little ice cream place, but it did in fact close down. I wonder what they're gonna put in there instead, but it is pretty sad that it's gone. This is the Boardwalk Bakery. I love that little design, it's so cute. And we have another nice restaurant here. This whole atmosphere is just so pretty. Also, there's another Christmas tree coming up, so I can't wait to show you guys. Look at how gorgeous this is. And we have the swan and dolphin over there. Gotta get a beautiful shot of this tree. I'm trying to hold the camera still so it's not too bouncy. I know in some of these clips it's kind of bouncy. I'm sorry guys. Oh man, so pretty. It reminds me of the photo shoot I did with um, some of my old coworkers at from Universal. I think it was their maternity photos. I don't know, but they had this really cute picture with this tree in the background. And then they put their little like pregnancy photo there of their um, son. So cute. Okay, just from a photographer standpoint, this is a really good like photo right there. Let me know if you like that in the comments. I just saw that in my camera and I was like, ooh. This is the Disney's Boardwalk Resort Hotel and they have these two beautiful Christmas trees and their garland. Their garland's actually probably the prettiest. I mean, I do love me some Grand Floridian garland, but this is like super thick. I love it. And ooh, they have a little fireplace over here with some nice stuff. The concierge desk over there with some garland. This is so pretty. Look at that. Also, this little thing. <laughs> this little roller coaster. Oh, that's the, um, I think that's at the Grand Cal the California Adventure Park. Yeah, I was gonna say Grand Californian, but. Here's some more decor along this hallway. This is one of my favorite things. I love this little carousel in there. I don't know if it actually moves or not. Just like the other resort, just like out on beach, we have some trees to greet you on your way in. Yeah, that's pretty much it for like the lobby entrance of the Boardwalk Hotel. I also wanted to include the resort I'm staying at. It's gorgeous garland here. Got the LED lights. At least that's what they look like. Very pretty. Okay guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Question of the day is, what is your favorite Disney resort? I think mine would have to be between the Grand Floridian and Disney's Riviera. I don't know. I didn't really go to the Riviera because it's kind of like out of the way. But other than that, um, 
again, I really wish I would have hit Wilderness Lodge so I could show you guys and so you could see, but it just didn't work out. It's fine. Again, I still hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Answer the question down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.